Tonight, a man in his 60s is dead after he was hit riding his bicycle this morning. It happened on the 2100 block of Edgewood Avenue, not far from Moncrief. Four cyclists have died this year in wrecks in Duval County. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joins us live from where the crash happened. Khalil, you spoke to a mother whose son was seriously hurt after he got hit last year. How did she react to this most recent death? Yes, yeah, Scott, that mom tells me as a, someone who almost lost a child to a bike crash, she says this is something that's unbelievable. She says she can't believe a man died in this area. And she also says she thinks things like this can be prevented because people need to just drive more carefully and be mindful when they're on the road. It breaks my heart. Um, there's just too many accidents out there. Joni Deal is reacting to what happened here this morning. Police say a 20 year old man was driving when he hit a man in his 60s who died at the scene. The driver stayed and spoke with police. This makes the 75th traffic death this year in Duval County, and this is the fourth one involving a cyclist. According to the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, in 2023, Duval County had five people die from bicycle crashes. This death hits close to home for Deal because last year, her son Dakota was hit while riding his bike on Beach Boulevard. He didn't die, but his life was changed forever. Dakota now has a metal plate in his face and has memory loss. But there's a difference between the crash that injured Dakota and the man who was killed Saturday morning. This morning's crash happened in the dark, and police say he was wearing dark colored clothing and didn't appear to have functional lights on the bike. Tom Hackney is the News for Jack's crime and safety analyst and retired JSO director. As someone who's dealt with cases involving bicycle crashes before, he says everyone needs to be safe when on the roads. Bicycles should have safety equipment wise. You know, they need a, a white light from the front that's visible 500 feet, a red light or a red reflector visible from 600 feet in the back, but also the helmet. As someone whose son's life was forever changed from a uh, crash while riding his bicycle, what would you tell to other people who ride bicycles around Jacksonville? Watch out for motorists, and I don't want to see anyone else end up like my son or tragically lose their life. And Tom Hackney also says if you are someone who's going to be riding your bike at night or when it's just dark, he says wear light colored clothing or wear something that is reflective. And he also says if you feel unsafe riding in the street, he says it is OK to ride on the sidewalk. Reporting live, Clay Maycock, Channel 4, the local station.